Okay, Shalom Amakim, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Bakar Kadash, the Bwana to the elders, the GMS, who grew well, salutation to you, Akim out there, pushing his word and truth and sincerity, you know, risking your freedom in your life to do so, um, in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, salutation to you, Akim out there, pushing his word, holy scriptures and prophecies throughout the four corners of the earth, reaching the elect. Of Israel, and I know um, I kind of been on a hiatus, going through some things. And this is no excuse at all, and this is the reason why I'm going on this video. It's called, um, you know, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, you know. And a part of this truth is constantly examining. And what does it mean to examine? It means to uh, Diligently look within uh, yourself. Diligently look at something. So you have to carefully look at the things you're doing. Like they say in work, you 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 cross you cross the T's and dot your I's, meaning you cover all aspects of the job. Now, part of our job is to be prophets of Yahweh Shmuel Shah, and that includes constantly watching. That includes constantly praying. That includes fasting. And through his those things. And, and if you're lacking in those things, um, you have to examine yourself because you can easily slip away. You can easily forget. You can easily be comfortable, too comfortable, to the point where you want to give up and go back to the things of the world because the world is easy. Um, the scriptures say, um, wide is the gate, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Okay? But the truth is straight. It's a difficult path. And you have to be single. Yah has to be single to walk that gate. And that's why. And I get the first scripture. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. Examine yourself. Whether ye be in the faith. You know. So it means to examine yourself. It means check yourself. Whether you be in the faith. You know, are you praying? And, then, and that's something I need to do more of. Are, are you are you fasting? You know, and that's something I need to do more of. You know, are you calling upon the Lord? Do you rely on Him? And that's a part of examining yourself. Okay? Because the truth is hard. The world and your flesh, more importantly, is against righteousness. Is against the ways of Yahweh Shah. It's against the ways of the Lord. You want to do wicked things. You want to commit adultery. Okay. You want to go clubbing all the time. Okay. You want to, you know, smoke weed. That's part of the flesh. So you have to examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Meaning. Correct yourself. Don't do it for men. You got to correct yourself. So we have to prove our own selves. Know ye not your own your own selves? How that Yahweh Shamashiach is in you? It said ye be reprobates, meaning stupid. Um, so, you know, the Lord, well, we've been given this word through the Spirit. Um, of the Lord. And it says how Yahweh shots in us. So we have to examine and walk in accordance to the ways of the Lord. And that means, you know, doing his work faithfully. Um, this is Revelations 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth and that and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things that are written in. So, seeing that we've been blessed to hear this word and receive the words of prophecy, meaning the things that was gonna are gonna happen before it happens, and we have to keep the things that's written therein. Okay, all the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our abilities. Okay, the worship of the Lord Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Okay, this is a part of. 
keeping the words. You be blessed. For the time is at hand. And the time is at hand. And um. And a lot of times, we forget how close. You know, mainly speaking about myself. Mainly forget how close to the end we, we actually are. You know, we start to believe, and I speak for myself, because um, as I'm sending this video out, it's a note to self. We start to believe that, you know, this kingdom is going to go on a little longer. It's going to go on five, ten years. You know, you start to think, what if? Because I came in the truth young. I came in the faith 17, you know, and this is a couple years ago, many years ago. So, it's like, okay, what next? You know, is, is this really going to happen? Okay, how soon is it going to happen? I know this is the truth, but I got to live. You start to think like that. You know, this is this is why the, um, how wish I said this. Um, this is Luke 9. Verse 62, and Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Now, this 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 work is considered um, labor in a field, uh, literally with grass and um, seeds. And what happens is you have to plow the field, meaning you have to break up the dirt in the field, and you have to go. And usually it's the donkey that's in front pushing to tread out the soil so the soil can receive seed. What, ha what happens when you look back or when a donkey looks back on a, on a, on a trail of plowing the field, the, the, the crop or the land gets destroyed because there'd be a, a little curve in the land, a curve in the ground. Which destroys the, 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 the seed or the potential seed from growing. Um, so that's a blind to, you know, man coming in the truth. And you start to consider, you know, having fun. Consider going back in the world. And that's why we have to constantly be in the faith, constantly endure. And constantly watch for these prophecies and being around the brotherhood. Because, um... You can easily look back, because looking back, it always felt good. You know, Lot's wife looked back because she had a lot of substance. She, she, had, a, she had great substance in the land of um, Sodom and Gomorrah. She had, she had a good life. Before you come to this truth, you, you still trying to find yourself, but you wasn't restricted on these laws. So you might have considered yourself to have a good life or a free life. But the scriptures say we under the bondage of Yahweh Shah. We under the bondage of this faith. You see? We under the bondage of hope. So I'll read it again. Um, Luke 10, 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Um, so... We can't look back in this faith. We have to keep trooping through. Because if not, we're not fit for the kingdom, meaning we're not a part of the elect if we look back. And that goes for all of us, including myself. You see? This is... Um, Lock here. I was looking for something else. Yeah, so this is uh, Romans 13 and 5. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Um, not one man. You're talking about, you know, uh, day of Israel. Because you esteem the Sabbath above regular days. So one man esteem of one day above another. Another esteem of every day alike. Meaning a regular dude. Um, 
but let every man be fully persuaded. Yeah, let, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. And that's that's what it is, you know, we're supposed to be fully persuaded. Um so with that I wanna give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Makakadash, double honor to the elders. A salutation to you, I came out there, just pushing this word. Until the next video, shalom.